Hey YouTube and Sendar here. Today I'm going to cover a uh, cooking video. This will be part one of two. Uh, this first video is going to cover how to mass produce beer and power level your cooking and in the process get tons of contribution points and milk uh, from the side items you get from actually cooking. Also how to speed this up so it's super quick. It's still mostly AFK, but there are ways to speed it up. I did a video on mass producing tools and everything, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Let me just cover this first part in case there's someone out there that's brand new to the game. To find a cooking vendor, you just go up here, NPC cooking. And it'll auto path you to the cooking vendor. So if you just started this game, this place is owned by the shed you will actually need now. cooking utensils no of and you can buy all the other stuff I'll be showing here. These are all the NPC items. You'll actually need to have a residence. To do that you just go to whatever town. Go up here to the top right. Find residence. And you'll see all these blue arrows. You just want to find one, especially if you're starting out, just you know, find one that's one contribution point. The little blue house are the ones you can buy right now. It'll tell you how many points. Just get the cheapest one. You'll definitely need a house. Uh, if you've been playing for a while, the most important thing is to have a huge house. Since you're gonna be filling it up with tons of these utensils. In the beginning, you're gonna maybe have to suffer for a little bit with that 100 durability uh, vendor NPC cooking utensil. And later on, you'll be making advanced, but either way, you're gonna need a lot of space. You can see I usually keep the house pretty much filled. Eventually you might even have multiple houses, which is fine. So the first thing and this especially holds true if you're going to be a player who has a huge network. You know, 60, 70, 100 workers. The one thing you're always going to need is beer. I'll show you here with cooking. The higher you actually get this cooking, the more procs you have, so the more items you make. And that becomes really important later. And it's really good just to get the beer out of the way first so you get that level up. Because beer is a low silver item. So you want to use the, your resources as much as possible to get that up initially. And beer is really good. You know, people ask me how much beer should I make? And I'm not kidding when I say, you know, 50 to 100,000. That's a pretty good goal. Actually, you can just start beer right from the beginning and just do nothing but beer and become number one in cooking if you do it enough. It always gives experience and it's always useful. I wouldn't sell it if you plan to have a network. The beer recipe is pretty simple. You'll notice <clears throat> over here on the left, the beer recipe, five cereals. You actually have a bunch of choices for this. You can use wheat, barley, potato, sweet potato, or corn. I'll show you a few of those notes here. Okay, so here's my note setup. If you're just starting, you're gonna wanna pick up, there's a few up here that you can get pretty easily and near the beginning for a low contribution amount. This first one, Tuscany Farm, there's two corn. Is actually a potato farm up here, Bartali. Another potato farm up here at Finto. You'll notice there's also chicken meat, which gives eggs. Those are also pretty good ones for cooking. I'm gonna put a link in comments to find all this different stuff. So to start out, let me do on beer. So five, six, two, and one. Now 
Now to really speed this up, and the most important thing is you'll notice my cooking speed right now. It looks to be about three seconds. Advanced cooking utensil actually takes a second off of this, and it's 900 durability. I'll put a link for the other video I did on how to mass produce these <clears throat> and get the ingredients in mass. Second, we have plus three cooks clothing. It takes four seconds off. Really important. Also gives some experience additional. A pearl shop item that takes two seconds off. This doesn't really matter because there's a minimum you can do of one second cooking. So you can actually go for a higher cook's clothes. Not fun, but definitely a, a potential to get your second down to the one second minimum. I believe there's also clothes for processors. I think it's pretty expensive and not really worth it. I do rank pretty high in processing and haven't ever really need, had the need for it. I don't know if there's an alchemy one yet. Uh, if that comes out, that'll be another option. So back to my cooking time. We got three seconds right now. A couple ways to speed this up. Sharp alchemy stone here. Takes a 14% uh, re reduction on cooking time. That's actually from 10 seconds. So you get almost, well, oh, maybe 1.2 seconds off. And you can notice here we're at three when I use it. Cuts it down to about 1.5. Now over 900 times on this, uh, one second each is 900 seconds or 15 minutes. So you really want to aim for one second. Uh, so there are a couple items you can do. This Tef sandwich is really good. And thanks for everybody who uh, recommended that on a former video. I'm gonna pop that, and now you'll notice I'm down to one second. So you can actually just AFK here for 15 minutes. Sometimes it's off by a couple minutes. The game lags out sometimes. It really depends on what server you're on. I usually stick to the U1 or the first of each channel. It's a little less lag, except when there's Ned Wars. I will let this run until this utensil is done but you can notice if with each beer I'm making yeah, I'm getting one two three four beers but I'm also getting the cool draft beers which are just a high quality of this you'll notice you'll get lots more and more high quality as you level up your cooking the other big thing and why this really works out <clears throat> I'll pretty much fill this room with cooking utensils and just blow through them all because these additional items you get this one when you turn it in you'll get beer more beer this one <clears throat> it's silver cooking experience milk which is super important for the high-end stuff so you just want to kind of save this or convert this into milk and just save up the milk until you're pretty high level. And then the most important, at least to me, contribution points. For every five of these you turn in, you get 50 contribution experience points. So pretty much like a it equals a daily quest or maybe a couple of them equal a daily quest. When you hit a wall at between two and 300 contribution, it's so slow you aren't gonna even wanna be doing daily quests anymore. So you can just, well, go through tons of these utensils, make 50,000 beer, and you're gonna have so many of these when you turn them in, you'll just watch this bar go crazy. Last night I turned in 4,000 of these, and it actually took me from 299 to 302. I wanna say it took about five hours to make that many. So if you're making 900 uh, cooking uh, times here, You'll probably see about 200 of these, maybe 180. It actually comes out to almost exactly 900 total of these divided by five. So I'm gonna let this run and I'll show you the results when I'm done with this 900 cooking beer. Okay guys, so I'm back, just wrapping this up. This is about well, 900 cooking almost, about 15 minutes. Can see how much beer I got here from using a full advanced alchemy tool. 
the utensil, and all these extra items I got in the process. I know a lot of new players and cooks look at how much the materials cost versus the product, and a lot of times they'll fail to add these in. You know, one of these is silver. It does get significant when you're mass producing. And of course, all these other items. Over here, I pulled up the beer recipe. You'll notice that mineral water, sugar, and level one agent are all things you can buy at an NPC. It's a piece of cake. Cereals might be the only thing that really holds you back. And it's actually pretty easy to get these on the marketplace. So don't forget that. If your worker network isn't keeping up or you run out, you can always just search for all that stuff. Yeah, sometimes somebody will drop 5,000 of them and it's pretty easy to pick it up. Another thing about this uh, power leveling is you can actually use any item that's at the cooking utensil. So you can see some of these don't really take very many items. So you can actually just spam these little items. And a lot of these like vinegar and I'll go into essence of liqueur here, actually go into a lot of higher items. So you want to spam these out too. No matter who you are, you're going to run out of materials for beer. So it's always good to have a second one. So let me just start this up, doing Essence of Liqueur. So this recipe, flour, fruits, leveling agent. And for fruits, you can see strawberry, grape, apple, cherry, pear, banana, pineapple. You can grow a lot of these. Grapes, there's a node right up by Olivia, right where you start the game. And you want to get somebody on that real quick. You can also go up there and bare hand or use a hoe and gather it that way. Uh, you'll notice with these Essence of Liqueurs, they're actually used in some higher end stuff. So you can actually make thousands of these and then do the next one, which is exotic herbal wine. So that'll be using these that you just made and all the other items are uh, NPC, except for the dough. I did a video on how to mass produce dough and, and flour, but you can get that usually on the marketplace in super high quantities, you know, maybe 10 or 20,000. So this is definitely an option to make the exotic herbal wine. And he, remember each time you're gonna get extras and procs. So as you go up kind of like a pyramid, the profit goes up as well. But at first you wanna start, you know, keep to the real easy items and just accumulate mass amounts of those. Once your level gets up and you're procking a lot more, then you wanna move into these higher items. So you, Essence look for you can just make 20, 50,000 store, you know, same with beer. And then you can go to do the fruit wine, which is something for fishermen, and you can pretty much always sell that. And it's useful in a couple different of the meals. But you can see from this one item, you're gonna be able to do three different things. So you, it's really hard to run out of stuff to do, even if you play all the time. Another interesting one here, honey wine. This is actually a real easy one too, because the honey, is almost always in super high quantity on the marketplace, so 50,000. You've got the essence of liqueur you're already making and the sugar and mineral water are of course vendor items. So that's a good option. Plus you can use this for other things. So I've got more into the imperial items in the next video. Now, one of the main goals of this, and you can just pause this or screenshot this if you need the recipes or anything that's putting on the screen. I know it's blocking my guy out, but um, I wanted to do it this way just so people can see what's going on. Uh, the tea with fine scent, you can actually mass produce that too. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But later on, the milk teas and these other teas, milk's very important. You're gonna get tons of it from uh, power leveling cooking. And this, 
team would find sense pretty easy as a base item. After I show you how to get the milk, though, you'll be able to mass produce this milk and uh, these teas, which also sell really well in the marketplace. You can also do an Imperial, but that's kind of hit or miss right now with the recent nerf on uh, Imperial crates. So, all right, I'll just show you how, well, how I do the, the scent. Let's see here. These recipes will fill in as you keep learning stuff. All right, you'll notice that the actual recipe for sunflower, for tulips, uh, white quality, you can use just one high quality sunflower, which is green, or one high quality grape, where it says fruits. Uh, the high quality is gonna come from farming. You're gonna get the normal grapes from the Olivia note grape farm. These are actually pretty common on the marketplace. So you can just buy thousands of them. If you do the math, it works out. Sometimes you'll have a very difficult time finding regular fruit or getting enough. And on these, since you're only using one instead of four, it's just going to make your life easier. This is another really good one to just mass produce. And you know, when I say mass produce, I mean like, okay, not 10, not 20, maybe 50,000 of these too. It's gonna to be kind of limited. But for the higher end teas here, you're gonna need a lot of these. You can see also I'm gonna high quality and all this other stuff too all the time getting the hand ins. Yeah, you probably don't want to sell either of these and even the high quality item again works in different stuff. So keep this stuff too. I mean you can't sell it but it's just better to keep it for later. So I'm gonna let this run and uh the last segment I'll show you how you do these hand ins. Uh just to sum it all up though. You're gonna to wanna to set up a network to make advanced cooking utensils. And I have a video on how to mass produce these as well as the alchemy ones. And I also have a video on how to get the rough stone, the most, uh, the, well, the biggest choke point on making these things. So I'll link to those videos. So get definitely advanced, make sure you have a big house. You're gonna go through 20 of these, no problem if you're doing this. Cooking time, get down to one second. And I'll show you how good these hand up Handeds are in a second here when this wraps up. Okay, so now we're at the point where we can do the hand ins. You can see I have almost, well, 5,500 here of dish with more ingredients. You just click on it, NPC, it'll auto path you. There's multiple locations you can turn this in. Sorry. And that's the wrong guy. Exchange beer. I'm gonna do the maximum here. And the last time I did this, well, last night I crashed out for a bit, so this will be interesting. You can see I have 245 cool draft beer and none of the others. So let's see what happens here. Do you wanna turn these in? Yeah. Okay, nothing happened. So there's 3,000 beers. And that's just from the hand ins. I mean, it's not really that huge of a number, but this is only from one group of my cooking. Now, uh, the next one is going to be milk. So, pretty much if you do this in power level, it, you are going to be making tons of silver. It's just most of it's in the higher end stuff and the imperial and selling. But. For passive income, which is really important too, like uh, contribution points, you're gonna get so many from this that you can pretty much, you know, I get asked what node should I get, what are the best, it's like, you're gonna have so much contribution if you just do exactly what I did in this video. You can just get every node in the game. So I'm gonna turn in all these for milk.
Okay, I'm had a little issue with this taking out food as I have 15,000 or something, so I don't even have to wait. Uh, this gives cooking experience, so I'm going to see what 15,000 does. I'm cooking Master 8, 60%. I haven't really handed, handed in this many of anything before. Alright, game got a little laggy. I was a master eight sixty percent at the beginning of this. Now master nine seventy three percent. So yeah, not bad. I think I've got one more item to do. Okay, now I'm handing in. This one's for silver. Pretty nice chunk. And now I'll finally go to the last bonus of contribution. Let's see. Alright. My before contribution is pretty much right here. Give me the zero from energy. So 179 turn ins at 50 each. Alright. I don't think it went up. Alright, so I was here, and you can see this moved the bar a pretty good amount for uh, 900 or so turn-ins. Alright, so now you can see why I didn't do the Imperial in here too. This video is really long, but um, just stick with what I have in here. You know, pause it to look at the different recipes and stuff. Just keep cooking. It will pay off. I'll hit the Imperial one next, and that is uh, a larger sum of fast instant income. So keep an eye out for that, subscribe, and you'll get a notification when I get that one done. Probably going to be another 20, 30 minutes. But thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for thanks everyone for all the really good info I've been getting and PMs and whatnot.